I gotta be careful though, I'm a type one diabetic. Yeah, that's right, I got the diabetes, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes people don't believe me when I tell them, and I think it's because I only weigh like a, a buck 35, I'm a skinny dude, yeah. Hearing me say I have diabetes is like saying, like hearing a really ugly dude say he got herpes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like people just look at me like, you got it? <laughs> like for sure, like a doctor told you, you think you got it. Like, If you didn't like that joke, you're ugly. <laughs> yeah, I, I got it when I was six, and I had the same doctor from when I was six to I was 18. That's a long time to have one doctor, so when I left, I thought it'd be nice to leave a review on his website. So who knows him better than me, you know? I was like, this man was my doctor for the last 12 years, and I'm still diabetic. <laughs> one star. <laughs> I didn't like the nurses at his clinic. They tried to like make me feel better. They thought I was sad. I wasn't until they tried to make me feel better. They would be like, you know, in time, you might even find that diabetes could be like a blessing in disguise. I think I'd rather have just a regular blessing. <laughs> but believe it or not, I try, to use, I try to use that advice years later. My friends are trying to start a fight at a bar. And I, I'm, not, I'm not a fighter. I'm like, maybe I can pull a diabetes card here. <laughs> yeah. This big dude pushed me. And I was just like, hey man, you don't want to do this. I'm diabetic. <laughs> this is one of the downsides to living in America though, is he goes, me too. Bah, I just... <laughs> I said, what the fuck, bro? We got to stick together. He was like, nah, two types walked in, one type's walking out. <laughs>